I'm Vanessa. <laughs> I cracked myself up just saying my name. <laughs> fond of the brain, partly because I've spent a lot of my adult life learning about it and partly because I have made 154 videos about it. Today I'm going to draw on all that to blow what's inside your head with the five things I think you need to know about the human brain. And that was your mind, if you're playing along at home? I'm going to blow your mind with five things you need to know about your brain. Yeah. Number one, human brains are mega wrinkly. In fact, they're the most wrinkled of any brain on earth. Take a look at this little beauty. <laughs> it's a human brain. I mean, it's just a model of a brain. We can't just procure a real human brain to show you on camera. Good wrinkles. <laughs> they make us really intelligent. But why are they there in the first place? For starters, your brain tissue is limited by the size of your skull. If your brain wasn't wrinkled, its surface area would be about 2,500 square centimetres, about four sheets of A4 paper. Except I forgot to bring A4 paper and I just found this piece of paper like in the corner of the room, but it's about the same. Now this surface area is made up of what's like the lining of your brain. It's your cerebral cortex and it's packed with brain cells, like 86 billion of them. So by packing more cerebral cortex into your skull, you can fit more cells in and then you can have more connections between them and then your brain can perform more functions. It all adds up to a smarter brain and a smarter you. Number two, the cells in your brain are the older cells in your body. Some cells in your body constantly regenerate and might last from a few hours to a few years. For example, the skin cells on your arm are entirely replaced every 27 days. Fresh. But the neurons in your brain last an entire lifetime. And the way we found that out is pretty unexpected. Researchers measured the lifespan of your cells using remnants of nuclear bomb testing. I did say it was unexpected. So what are the older cells? Well, the guy is in your visual cortex, the region of the brain that's responsible for processing sight. Scientists think because sight is so critical, those cells need to be the most stable. Number three. While you sleep, your brain prunes your memories to make them stronger. This one cell type called microglia migrates through the brain tissue and engulfs unwanted connections, cellular debris and dead brain cells. It's kind of like a housekeeper. And in studies with mice, the mice who have undergone this synaptic pruning have better recall than mice who didn't. Scientists think this cell housekeeping has an effect of sharpening the memories that you really need. It's a gentle reminder to get your seven to nine hours sleep a night. A gentle reminder. Mm. Fact four, you have an internal GPS. So how do you get from A to B? By using your brain, literally. We have a really cool system of cells to help us navigate through the world. So you can just relax with using Google Maps to get everywhere believe in yourself. As far back as the 1970s, scientists noticed that certain neurons or brain cells called place cells, located in the hippocampus, fired when rats moved through a particular spot, suggesting that these place cells identified our location and committed them to memory. Fact number five. Thanks for sticking with us. Your sciatic nerve is the longest single cell in your whole body. Right, so it's not in your brain, but this is kind of like a bonus fact because it helps you understand more about your nervous system. The sciatic nerve runs from your hip to your big toe. It's the longest and widest cell in your entire body and it provides the connection to your nervous system for almost all of the skin and muscles of your leg and foot. There's still loads that we don't know about the brain. <laughs> but thanks to researchers, we're, we're learning and understanding more 
all the time to keep this strong and healthy. So please share your new brain knowledge wisely and keep that thinking cap on. It looks good on you. Thank you.